Hi friends, our next live session will be on the coming Sunday, which is the 10th of October at 7 p.m. This live session will be roughly a two to two and a half hour live session where we'll dive deep into MongoDB, which is a very popular document database and it falls under the broader umbrella of NoSQL databases. In this live session, first we will try to understand the difference between a relational database and a document oriented database because MongoDB broadly comes under the category of document databases. And when should you use a relational database and when should you use a document database? In which situations is a document database more popular? And why is MongoDB used in some situations more often than a relational databases? So we'll understand pros and cons Again, to, to really appreciate the differences between a relational database and a document database, it's also important to understand the internal architecture of MongoDB. MongoDB, to the best of my knowledge, is one of the most popular document-oriented databases. So we'll understand the internal architecture of MongoDB. We'll also understand how MongoDB is typically scaled when you have large amounts of data and when you have large a uh, large number of queries that you have to do very, very fast. So we will learn about a bunch of techniques that MongoDB uses primarily to scale and also to speed up. In addition to that, again, we will cover all the accessing of MongoDB in Python itself. So we will learn of the CRUD operations, which is how do you create a, a data store? How do you read data? How do you update data? How do you delete data? These are called as CRUD operations, right? Create, read, update, delete. We'll see how to create, read, update, delete data in MongoDB using the Python API. Now, having said this, we will also learn about slightly more interesting and also slightly more important concepts if you're planning to use MongoDB in the real world, like how do you index in MongoDB and how indexing can speed up specific types of queries. Similarly, what is your data modeling mechanism itself? How will you model your data so as to, so as to create a high throughput highly scalable data stores for document for for documents in general so we'll also discuss about data modeling and what sort of data modeling can be used in different situations so that you have a very powerful uh, and a very scalable instance of mongodb okay so for this live session you have to obviously know python programming because we'll be using it extensively and we'll also assume that you know sql and the basics of relational databases what is a table what is a join and how relational databases themselves work internally because if you have this context you can easily understand mongodb by by focusing on the differences between the data storage and the data indexing that happens in relational databases versus a document database. In terms of coding itself, we'll be using Python API and actually doing the basic coding of create, read, update, delete in Python for MongoDB is fairly straightforward. The slightly more interesting and the more uh, in-depth technically uh, in-depth topics from a technical standpoint will be the internal architecture of MongoDB. How do you scale MongoDB? What are various indexing and storage options you have? And how do you model your data either for, again, your data modeling will depend a lot on the application you're designing for, right? Do you want like very high throughput reads or do you want very good read as well as write latencies? So we'll discuss about some of these examples, some of the real world cases, what are some of the guidelines that MongoDB itself provides? Okay, so having said that, all of our course enrolled students will get an AirMeet link via their email and this live session will happen on AirMeet which we're using for all of our live sessions now. You will get the AirMeet link via your registered email and please make a note of this. It is on 10th of October at 7 p.m. This will roughly be a two to two and a half hour live session because we want to cover MongoDB in lots of detail uh, both, both from a programmatic standpoint and also from a technical, the internal standpoint. See you on the coming Sunday.